Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Hey everybody, it's Birdie here. What's going on, guys? Okay, so we just finished restoring this entire interview. It's taken us a long time. It's taken a lot of work. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share this video with your friends. This is as rare as it gets, okay? It's Bruce Lee talking about the various branches of martial arts. He talks about karate, judo, kickboxing, and even boxing. And he's found flaws in all of them, okay? So he basically mocks karate in this interview and the other branches of martial arts as well. You know, this is why Bruce Lee developed Jeet Kune Do, because he didn't like styles, okay? He didn't like karate or judo or hapkido or any of the martial arts that, if, that existed. So Bruce Lee would love the UFC. He would love the free styles that you see today in the UFC and the mixed styles that you see in the UFC today. So when they say that Bruce Lee was the grandfather of mixed martial arts, there's a reason for it. This guy was a way, way, way ahead of his time. You can tell when you're listening to this interview that this guy knows exactly what he's talking about. He studied all of the arts. All of the martial arts are out there. Everything. This guy is so knowledgeable and it really shows in this interview. So here we go, guys. Enjoy. Whereas those son of a bitch are cowardice. I mean, turning their heads, sl swinging their punch, and after the second round, they're all a breath. <laughs> I mean, they're really yeah. pathetic looking. I mean, yeah. very, very am amateur. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, even a boxer. Because a boxer, when they concentrate on two hands, yeah. it's because how amateur they are. They, yeah. they, they do their thing. That's right. They're in a war. They're really bad. But whereas most guys go out there, they haven't decided what the hell they're going to use. Yeah. I mean, before they co they contact each other, they do all the fancy stands and all the fancy movements. But the minute they contact, they just <laughs> don't know what the hell to do. Yeah. I mean, that's it. They that's missed it. Yeah. and they fell on their asses and they tuck and hold and grapple and... I mean, yeah. I mean, the whole Hong Kong... They call it some <laughs> that's yeah. the interpretation yeah. in Hong Kong. And yeah. Can you imagine that? I mean, even those guys see it that way. I mean, yeah. what do you think of the appreciation of people here? Yeah, right. Well, period. That's right. Yeah. The level is still so. so what I'm hoping to do in film is to be just that, man, to raise the level. It's a real mission there, really. Yeah, it really. I mean, actually, not only really raise the level, actually upgrade that's the right, gain respect from the Western well, world. That's what, I'm, that's what I hope to do, man, yeah. because, uh, like here, I mean, you know, I'm the reason I'm coming back is Warner Brothers wants me to do a television series, mm -hmm. but I don't think I'll do it now. Yeah. I'm going to concentrate, you know, in Hong Kong and, uh, and do it. Yeah. Yeah, start from there. Yeah. Actually, there's more. And actually, you might be able to expand it to here. That's like right. the Italian picture, a fistful of dollars and yeah. stuff like that, if the quality can be uplifted. Yeah. And uh, that's what I, you know. Well, that's actually... Uh, more and more, Dan. I mean, it's uh, becoming more and more simple to <laughs> as a human being. And more and more I search myself. And, uh, and more and more, I mean... I think uh, you are well. I mean, the questions are more and more lifted. And yeah. More and more, I see clearly. You know, it's really the simplicity. It is. It the, really is, man. I mean, what it is is that what man has to get over is the consciousness. Yeah. The consciousness of himself. And uh, I always remember you say you have to sharpen the you know, tools. You know, the yeah. basic tools. You got tools working properly, right? Well, then you That's can it. use them. Yeah. You see, I mean, here it is. When you, if you can move with your tools from any angle, then you can adapt to whatever the object is in front of you. That's right. And the clumsier, the li more limited the object, the easier for you to pot shot it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it amounts. That's right. I think uh, sometimes uh, and more. And I mean, really, what it is is that it it utilizes the body to come to some sort of a realization, disregard whatever your pursuit happens to be. Mm -hmm. In my case, is uh, the pursuit of uh, becoming 
location on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm yet to go yeah, see it. They have kickboxing. You have seen kickboxing. Oh, yeah, right. I've seen I, well, I saw it in Thailand first. <laughs> you came out these guys. I'm the sure. Phantom Weight is yeah. a champion. Yeah. That was uh, one of the stuntmen. Uh-huh. And I was sure. Yeah. Well, the, pop, the problem with them is that uh, they are the John L. Sullivan with their legs. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, uh, no finance. No finance they do actually, uh, I guess if they manage to uh, step in the rep in the rear of your thigh, mm-hmm. and that hurts, I'm not sure that's usually what they try to uh, cause the other, cause the opponent to completely give up, and that uh, they just actually wrap into it. Well, uh, not all of them, they do that, uh-huh. you know, but they, they, you can do that when you are stationary, uh-huh. you see, but not when you're constantly moving. Well, I feel like the, the Japanese has uh, incorporated uh, the uh, sweeping kick on their uh, Thailand's high kick, and then really somehow you can see the Thailand people when they reach their foot is in the air and, uh, and then try to kick, and the moment uh, they kick, the, the Japanese uh, will move in and sweep the foot away or make a judo throw, and uh, yeah. poor Katai just having trouble right. maintaining balance That's because right. the kick is too high. That's right. And, and too obvious. Too obvious, right. Well, That's the, no, whole, uh, the whole deal, you see. There's no suddenness, no economy. No That's suddenness? Why, uh, and there's no actually broken rhythm either. Yeah, you can see it coming. That's right. That's yeah. Don L. Sullivan. That's why 80% <laughs> 80, 80, 80 of the knockout is by hand. By hand, right. That's why this guy, crazy Raymond Adler, uh, making all those things. No, oh, yes. uh, put him in the ring, man. The boxer would just... The boxer would just hit out of him. Right. So that goes to show you, I mean, you know. I think uh, actually whatever you do over there would have a tremendous uh, impact of the of your work over here. Because well, more depending. Than all those, uh, uh, depending. I mean, how it's gonna, how the quality of it is gonna be. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not talking about myself alone. You see, yeah. I mean, directing, budget wise and cinematographer wise. I That's mean, right. a lot of you know, a lot of things. I mean, uh-huh. the lighting, cinematic. I mean, you know, everything. Do you, you think the is Hong Kong first and Shaos uh, actually they are quite up to standard, though, is it? Not really. Not really. But they can be. I mean, you know. They, Given the manpower and, the, and right. the facilities, I think. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's the Hollywood of uh, China. Of China, right? You can make more films sometimes. I know in a year yeah. than uh, in uh, the Hollywood area. I mean, that's about it. You know. Now you actually in the Big Boss, you speak up. Cantonese, right? Yep. And, uh, then what do they do? They, they just dump it. All, all the men are in the picture. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, I see. All of them. Are they going to come over here sometime? When? Yeah, well, it will be. I mean, but I don't know when, because like I told you, I mean, yeah. because of his tremendous success, they're really, um, I mean, you know, holding it back, you know. Oh, I see. Trying to get the best deal they can, and yeah. they're trying to distribute it. I don't blame them. Uh, Rank, you know, in England, trying to distribute it in, in all over England. I see. Uh, I don't know how the deal come about. Uh, I opened a film company, mm-hmm. you know, uh, recently called Concord. Mm-hmm. And my partner is, you know, coming over next week. So I should find out more about it. I see. Uh, good. Well, uh, we are eagerly waiting for this film to okay. be here. I think you will like it. Yeah, 
China and history. Well, exactly. You're doing that at the end. You know, I died under the gun. Yeah, under the gun. But it's a very worthwhile death because it means, you know, the thing moment and the Chinese and all that. I walk out and I say, fuck you, man. Here I come. Boom, I leap out and leap up in the air. And then <laughs> they stop the frame and then, <laughs> like Butch Cassidy and some damn kids. Yeah. Except I just, they stop the frame so I'm in the middle of the, in the, middle of the air. Uh -huh. It's a very honorable yep. uh, end. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, according to the Chinese fashion. That's right. Of <laughs> <laughs> and the audience will eat it up. <laughs> I know that. Um, Boy, you should see the film go in Hong Kong. They're very, very, they're yeah. too much. <laughs> too much. I mean, yeah. when they don't like it, they just say, Thank you. 